Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys. Welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to create and use radio buttons in Flutter. Let me show you the demo application which I have already created. So I will come to this device. I will open it. And you can see this demo application. When I click on this uh, check uh, box or this radio button, you can see that one is uh, printed because we have given the value 1 to this uh, uh, radio button and if I click on the other one so it will print 2 so this kind of application we are going to create with the radio buttons so I have created another project here which is empty and uh, I have this uh, few classes defined in it so I will come to this one and here I will return the material app widget and in a material app widget I will use the home property and in home I will uh, call the scaffold and in scaffold uh, we have some properties uh, and the first one that I will use is a uh, uh, bar it will create a bar So we will have a title on this bar. So I will use the title property of the bar, and uh, I will name this. Uh, uh, I will use text widget for this uh, uh, title, and uh, I will name this uh, radio button. And now the next uh, property is uh, body, and in body I will use uh, center widget and inside center widget I will use a column uh, child uh, and which will be a column widget now why I use column now if we go to this application and I open my device now you can see that all these radio buttons are in a column so we are uh, using this column widget here so in this column widget we have uh, a property called children's which in turn takes a, a list of widgets so here I will create a row widget uh, first one row and uh, why I am using row here now if I come again to the app now you can see that this radio button and this text is in a row so that is why I am using the row widget so I'll come to this row widget and now here it has also a property called children so now and the first one is a radio button in the implication so I will use radio and uh, this one it is and now it has a value and uh, for value I will use 0 and now uh, radio value uh, group value and now here for this I will create an integer here uh, underscore here down here underscore group value is equal to zero semicolon and here I will use underscore group value now here I will use on changed and uh, uh, in unchanged I will call um, uh, a method so handle radio uh, method will be called which we now I will click on this click on this bulb and here I will uh, create a method handle radio now it has created a radio value here now uh, we will print this uh, uh, radio va value later so now I will go to my row widget and uh, inside here 
in this uh, row widget uh, I will create another widget which will be text text and uh, now for text I will use this is a radio button number zero and zero and here I will use uh, style for this uh, uh, text style and I will use text style and we have a property here font size and I will use this 20 and then is a property called background color and I will use colors dot um, yellow and now I will copy this row from here let me run this and uh, let's check it if it, uh, this is working and then we will uh, make others uh, radio buttons now the app is running and we have this yellow radio button on this um, screen now we will create some more radio buttons now I'll come here and uh, I will copy from this row up to here and now at the end of this I will put a comma and then I will paste then I will put a comma and then paste and then comma paste then uh, comma and paste comma and paste now I'll make this color dot C Y A N sign and uh, I'll make this value uh, 5 and uh, this one as well uh, 5 and this 4 this color will be changed to red and uh, this value will be changed to 4 and now I'll make this uh, 3 and uh, this will also be made 3 and the color will be changed to green and now this color will be changed to gray and this will be number two this red will also be changed to two and now this will become one and the color will become orange and here I will change this value to one and now I'll come to this handle uh, radio method which is down here and I will print this value semicolon and now let's control S it now the app is running on the um, device and we have this uh, this beautiful uh, radio buttons so if I click on this uh, radio button one so you can see one is printed but it is not checked because 
uh, we need something here uh, after this print value control Z I will set the state set state and uh, we have to uh, underscore radio uh, group value is equal to value now control is it semicolon and now control is it and now if I go to device now if I click on this uh, radio button one so you can see here one is printed and this one is selected and now if I click on two you will see here down the two is printed now if I again go to device and click on three three is selected and if I click on four four is selected and this same goes for five and same goes for zero so that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you